So in this video, I will show you guys two diagrams, one being how to wire the rectifier regulator, and the second, how to wire in the brake switch, okay? But before I get started, I just want to say as a disclaimer, I can't be blamed for any mishaps that happen because if you do mess up on some connections, there is a possibility uh, you can damage whatever you're powering, so you can blow out lights and so on. But the diagram I'm going to draw you guys um, does work for me, and it's just really important uh, that you make um, the connections correct, okay? So let's get started. I want to mention that um, if you have a voltmeter, that's best, so you can actually test the voltages of the rectifier regulator. So that's your best bet, is use a voltmeter to test before plugging anything in, okay? So we have our stator. five wires coming out of it. Okay, the green wire is our ground connected to our frame. Okay, and these two are connected to the CDI. So they're running the engine. And I'm assuming most of you guys, your engine is running fine. You just want to connect headlights or power something. Okay, so you're going to connect the yellow and the white wire to the rectifier regulator. Okay, so the white is connected to the bottom left, and the yellow is connected to the top right. Okay, so your headlight has a positive and a negative terminal, so you connect that right here, this is your uh, positive DC voltage. Okay, and this is connected to ground. And the most important thing, because this will rectify the voltage, but um, it won't regulate it. So what you want to do is you need to have make sure these connections are uh, fine right here and also mine has a tab with a hole for you to screw into the frame and that's also connected to ground okay and so your light should be shining fine after these connections are made so it should be regulating and rectifying uh, the voltage okay so this is the, basically the um, final diagram to, if you want to run some lights, just follow this. But before even connecting anything to power, I highly recommend, like I said, using a voltmeter to test. Okay, so say this is your voltmeter. Set it to the DC um, voltage test and then connect the positive right there. Okay. And then use the other wire um, to connect it to ground. And when testing the voltage, of course, test it at idle and throughout the rev range because if it's rectified, it, the light might be shining fine. But if you didn't have a correct ground, like I said, um, it might not regulate it. So if you were to rev it to full throttle, um, it could blow out your light. So again, that's why, like I keep saying, um, test with a voltmeter before hooking anything up throughout the rev range. So now I'm going to show you guys a diagram um, of wiring in the taillight and the brake switch. So you don't want to get this started until you actually get the headlight working. Okay? So it's basically just a simple parallel connection to the headlight. So this is the headlight again. And this is a rectifier regulator, the four pin one I have, and of course, top left is a positive DC voltage. This is connected to ground. Also, I have it grounded here.
And I guess I'll draw it again. Um, this is the yellow wire from the stator. And this is the white. Okay, and this is grounded. Okay. And then we have the tail light. Okay, and to get, I have turning signals on my tail light, but I'm not going to show you how to wire those in because once I show you how to wire in the brake light, you should be able to figure out how to uh, wire in turn, turning signals if you want. But basically, it's just three wires to get um, the running light and the brake light to get um, to get it working. Like I said, three wires. So it's the black wire. So that's the negative terminal. You connect it to the ground or frame. Okay, and this is your running light. So the running light basically is your, like you know in a car's headlights when you turn on the turn on the lights, the rears come on too, but it's not the brake light. But that's the um, green wire on my tail light. Okay, and then this is the brake light. It's the red wire. Okay, it's also a parallel connection. But basically, you don't want to have it connected the whole time because it would just be bright the whole time. It would look like you're breaking the whole time, right? So you want to have a series connection, wire in a switch, okay? So I believe I showed you in the other video, the switch I use is a small black tube with two wires coming out of it. Just connect it there and there. And it just has this little metal rod um, with a hole in it that um, you can hook or on a small wire and you pull down on it, uh, it completes that connection. So I have it hooked to my rear brake lever, so once I press on it, it pulls down that metal rod and completes this connection and showing that I'm braking. Okay? So you want to have the switch to activate and deactivate it, showing that you're braking. So I made this video basically because in the other video I just uh, showed you the actual wires and even though I said what they were, I know it can probably be confusing, but um, after seeing these diagrams, it's pretty easy, right? So now I'm gonna show you um, how I um, put the brake switch on my bike. It's just a couple zip ties, and I use a metal rod to uh, make some bends around the foot, uh, rear brake foot lever. And I did it in an hour, so it doesn't look the nicest, but uh, it works pretty good. So you'll probably figure out how to do it. Um, on your own bike you might not um, want to follow what I did but it's up to you so this is the switch right here for the brake light right here is the cylinder for the brake rear brake so if you see um, I really just work some thin metal wire myself it didn't come with it it did come with um, some super thin um, metal wire but I lost it so I just had this on hand and had to make some bends all around you see it's kinda doesn't really look the nicest but it works really well and I connected it to the rear foot brake right here and you see it's just I hooked it around so it's just it's pretty loose but it's still pretty sensitive too I'll press it lightly and it'll come on and these are the wires right here and I already showed you the diagram how to hook it up and yeah it's just zip tied I didn't really make a bracket because didn't I didn't work too hard on it like I said I just did it in an hour but it's been holding up fine and it's pretty solid yeah that's it if you have any questions just ask